hey guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today. Check it out guys, today, by popular request, we are doing another epic biome transformation, that's right. And today guys, we will be focusing on the extreme hills biome and we'll be turning another island into this really epic looking landscape. Are you excited guys? Cause I am, trust me. <laughs> Anyways, how about we get started with the time lapse. Alright guys, the extreme hills biome. So like in the previous video, we started off with another island in the ocean. The first thing I did was pretty much remove all of the existing biome features that were already there so that we have a nice and clean canvas to start off with. I also think that sometimes if you already have something there that you have to work around or you know have to incorporate into a build, it does get a lot harder and sometimes I feel like I personally don't get as creative as I do than yeah, when I start something from scratch. I guess that can be seen as a challenge in some scenarios. And I think that would actually be a really fun thing to do. However, I think in this situation, it probably would have just been counterproductive and would have gotten in my way. So we didn't do that. <laughs> so once we have uh, once we've created a nice and flat area prepared for, you know, our epic biome transformation, I went along and split the island into three smaller areas separated by this sort of river which runs straight through the middle of the area. I think that splitting up the area makes the build a lot more manageable since, you know, this is a big area that we are working with. And in hindsight, I probably should have split the area up a bit more since we really have a lot of space available. But hey, I'm, I'm still very pleased with the end result, guys. And also now that we have those rivers throwing, running through the island, we can then later connect the hills that we are going to create with some really cool arches and all of that kind of cool stuff. But yeah. Once that was done, I guess the only thing left to do was to actually build the extreme hills, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess I tried to incorporate all of the aspects of the original vanilla biome here as well, such as the, you know, the stone outcrops and the oc occasional spruce tree just dotted across the landscape. And yeah, I have to say guys, I really liked the end result a lot. I think it turned out pretty cool. Now. One thing which does actually bother me a little bit about this build is, you know, we have these really cool mountain cliffs on the island, but it almost feels like they need something, or or rather it feels like there's something missing around them. And yeah, they just, they just seem so bare right now, I guess. And my thought was, you know, why not just build some floating islands around them? So we actually didn't build any in this video right now, because I actually wanted to know what you thought about this and I wanted to get your feedback on this idea. So I guess down in the comment section, let me know, would you like to see a second part of this build where we perhaps add some epic floating islands around the area to bring up the, you know, awesomeness even more of this area. <laughs> also, let me know what else you would add to the terrain. It's always great to hear your feedback. But yeah, I have to say, I really had a lot of fun doing this terrain transformation video, and I think that you're enjoying these videos as well, I think, yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think about making these biome transformation videos into a sort of mini-series where we transform all of the major types of biomes which are in the vanilla game? I don't know, guys, I think it would be really cool, but hey, let me know what you think in the comment section below. That's right. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's going to be it from me. So if you want to see more of this, I guess smash the like button, guys. And I guess it's time for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the time lapse. Mm -hmm. 